you know it's crazy too now man is when i was growing up it's like oh yeah my mom was so insistent i'm like oh you got to go to college it's not a question of if it's a question of where you're going when, to college. right when yeah where, right. when you know so you know you go to college and nowadays you don't even need that shit man like literally you could save yourself thousands Bro. of debt because they got certificate programs for everything you want to do right and it doesn't matter if you find something you really like to online. do i, I guarantee it online, online right. potentially Bro. i yes, i guarantee Bro. you you can probably find something you want to do that is going to save you thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars in fucking right. debt when you mm -hmm. get done and get a degree handed to you by a university or even a community college any college right. is going to charge you out the ass so there's all these, you know, trade, there's all these trade programs, certificate programs, whatever you want to call them now, you know, but I believe that the so, relating back to social media that has an influence on that too. And I'm explaining to you why, because when you're raising children, do you want to tell them like, okay, look, you can either follow your dream is what I'm going to tell my son. Right. But so do you want to go to college? It's whatever you want to do. If you got to go to college for it, you got to go to college for it. Get your degree. Boom. Fine. You're in debt thousands, but whatever. I'll make it happen. Whatever, I'll pay for right. it. Whatever I got to do, I'm going to fucking do that, it anyway. If that's what your heart's so Or, right. If that's where your heart's at, that's what you're going to do. But if you can find something you'd like to do with a trade program or with, with a certificate, you ain't got to go for four years, maybe go for nine months, 12, whatever the case may be, and it's right. significantly less cheaper we're going to go that route. I'll make that happen right. for him too. Cool. Whatever. And then, I can tell him to do then, those and, two and things. And if you want to go back after you stack your bread, after you stack your bread or whatever, you can go and do the classes and stuff or whatever, but you're not relying on the degree or whatever to get your money because it's different ways to get money and stuff or whatever without having to go to college and stuff like that too. But definitely go to college. Like I say, if, if, if that's what you want, you got a scholarship, this and that, whatever, football, athletic, you know what I'm saying? Academic, bro do that shit you feel me like yeah do that shit get the experience bro like i've been to college you know what i'm saying my boy james been to college bro dog i had a great time in college bro you feel me but like i say when it comes down to the real world bro i had to get my money you know what i'm saying like for real i don't have time to be going to classes and stuff like that or whatever sometimes you feel me like i had i had to get money man i had to survive you feel me so like i say i'm mad that i pushed that stuff out the way but like I say, man, I'm, I'm I'm in a place where I want to be now, and I don't have all that debt. You feel me? And I'm and I'm getting the same money as somebody with a degree in that or whatever with my experience. So you know what I'm saying? They go they go neck and neck. You feel me? I'm gonna tell you right now, as somebody who has a degree, it doesn't always mean shit, depending on where you work. Right, and don't even I have use a degree, it. and it's not even used essentially in where I work, man. It's right. not fucking used. I'm not properly compensated for my degree where right. I work at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't give a shit yeah, about man, it, man. Stuff, They bro, don't that's care. That stuff a scam, bro. Like I said, unless they don't you care. Be a teacher, doctor, lawyer, you know what I'm saying? Architect, this and that or whatever. And the third mathematician, you know, uh, tax, you know what I'm saying? Tax attorney, this and that or whatever. All those things, whatever. Yes, you got to go to college. Yes, you got to do the four years. You got to pass the bars. You got to do all these things. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, if, if you somebody from the streets like me, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't have a lot of money for college and stuff, or whatever. You got to find you something that you can do right now. You know what I'm saying? To get that money because you got to put food on your table. Don't know what family members uh, depending on you and stuff like that. You feel me? So you got to go get that money now, bro. Don't just be waiting and waiting or whatever. Just don't waste your time. That's what I'm really trying to say. Don't waste your time or whatever, man. Do something now, even if it's small. You feel me? I've worked two and three jobs, bro, for 10, 15 years, bro, working two, three jobs, man. Dogs hurting, bro. But now I got like gig jobs, like the Uber. I do Uber. I do Instacart. I do DoorDash, this and that or whatever. And some of y'all might say, man, man, I ain't doing that jump, bro. But guess what? Man, that's money every day. You can cash out. You ain't got to wait no two weeks or no check. You ain't got to wait no week in the hole. None of that stuff, bro. You can cash out the same day. And I'm going to send y'all my Uber link and I'm going to send y'all my Instacart link. You feel me? Like I say, because you got to switch this stuff up, bro. But because, man, you give all your time to all these people, all these companies or whatever, they don't give a damn about you. You feel me? I've been through that stuff. I've worked places... Uh, X amount of years and this and that or whatever, bro, not even get a proper goodbye. 
You feel me? Because they'll feel they'll feel that space, man, with the next person that's you know what I'm saying, they think is capable. You feel me? That's good hustle, by the way. I'm gonna let y'all right now. I'm sitting here to tell y'all, and I'm not even on no bullshit. This motherfucker Sam don't never take a day off of work. He don't never miss no paper. I'm gonna tell you right now, whether it's Uber or at work doing his regular job or doing his Instagram, this motherfucker don't miss no money. So believe him when he tell you. He got you. But so check this out, bro. So all this shit we just discussed with the education and this and that, what I was getting to was, do I tell my son to go to college, to go to a trade school, or do I tell him just to go viral? Do something incredibly <laughs> fucking stupid, like a hey, fucking dumb challenge stupid, or something, you know, cash me Nothing outside, stupid, motherfucker, right. or some stupid shit. That's going to make bro. you go viral. That's going to make people watch you. That's going to buy daddy a mansion. Bro. Hey. Like, and like what I'm going to tell my son, like, that's another thing. Uh, how dude. the world is fucking what the world has right. come to, bro. Because you can literally be a fucking millionaire off of being fucking ignorant. Jake like, Paul. Jake Paul. You, Logan Paul. Top guys. You feel me? Now these boys are in every venture. They didn't fall. Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? They didn't. They in the wrestling now, WWE, whatever. This dude jumping off the top rope. Like, man, these boys is getting paper. Knocking out boys, this and that or whatever, man. Instagram popping, all that stuff popping. Private planes, big Yo. millions. Like, boy, them boys are doing big things, bro. Yo, shout out Jake Paul from me, bro. Jake Paul has won me some money. My brother cannot stand him, and every time mm. he boxes somebody, I put money on him, and dude, he wins right. every time. It's like, I, I'm not betting against him. And he's he's bro. fighting Silva soon, the spider Silva. Yes, Anderson Silva. Bro, I can't so wait good. to see that. That's I gotta so hit good. up my brother. Bro, yes, I'll be I'm like, excited. bro, you trying to... I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm like, you so trying to put another wager on that, bro? Real. I'm ready to bro, take your cash man, app I again. I, man, I feel like Silva gonna knock his ass out. Nah, bro, really? I might have to put a wager on that shit Silver, with you then, too. Silver, man. Put with you. Oh, on shit. It, man. We'll Hell talk nah, about we might have to put a dub on it or something. Hey, we'll talk about I, it offline. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to discuss <laughs> that. But a uh, shout out Jake Paul, though, because he's done won me some money. But, yeah, I mean, he, he in that motherfucker, though, dude. I, I feel <laughs> like you. I'm so saying, like, do you want him to go viral? Like, your, your son's going to have certain talents, man. You know what I'm saying? That he's going to like to do or whatever. Like, he might be an artist. He might like to do music. He might like to do a lot of stuff, whatever. Just push the stuff that he likes to do. You feel me? And like I say, as a kid, he's going to get tired of that stuff. And some things he's going to stick with. He might do it for a little while. Do You know what I'm saying? Just kind of just keep him trying to like keep him straight and narrow. You feel me? Like don't let him go too far off one end. Don't let him go too far on the other end. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of keep him just straight in the road. Like, like uh training training wheels. You're the training wheels of his life. You feel me? So he's safe on each side. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, bro, like he's he's gonna have a thousand ideas or whatever stuff that we never even thought of. We're gonna be like, man, oh man, that shit's stupid. That's stupid. I don't I don't think that's. But like I say, he knows something because he sees the world from a different side of the sun. You know what I'm saying? So he's not gonna grow up like me. He's not gonna grow up like you. Me and you are totally different. You know what I'm saying? God, with, I like, hope not. Like freaking, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I fucking so hope not, what dude. Would you, what would you think a, a 30 year difference is going to be? You know what I'm saying? How he's going to judge the world and stuff like that. You feel me? Like it's going to be different for him, bro. Like we're not going to understand everything that he wants to do. You feel me? We just keep him safe from harm and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The best that we can. You feel me? I guess that's real. You know, when you think about it like that. So. It'll be that, and then, you know, we go and roll with it, and we take it as the shit comes. You know, we got to oh. just try our best to understand and adapt and accept adapt. everybody and everything. That's you key. know, we're very That's accepting key. people. Believe it, for real. You know, like I say, nobody, man, he's going to be great. Look, the, the prince going to be great, man. For real. For real. Just like I say, just live in his reign, man. For real. Just enjoy the ride. That's all it is, man. Fatherhood, man. I done been through it. I even got a granddaughter now, man. Shout out to my granddaughter, Cammie, man. For real. Papa, I love you. That man is a granddad. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. Shout for out real. to your people, bro. Much love. I love you, baby.